On August 12, 2021, India launched its first indigenous aircraft carrier, INS Vikram. It was a proud moment for the whole nation, as after years of importing its weapons, India indigenously made a highly complex and sophisticated ship as this one. But many critics have cited that in spite of all its superiority, the aircraft carrier is defenseless against so-called hypersonic missiles. But what is a hypersonic missile and why is the Indian Navy helpless against such a missile? First about speed. Any object traveling at the speed of sound is said to travel at Mach 1. All commercial jet airliners travel below this speed. Today's fighter jets travel at an average speed of Mach 1.5 to 2. Surface-to-air and air-to-air -air missiles have a speed of Mach 2 and above. Any object traveling at speeds of Mach 5 and above is considered hypersonic. Mach 25 is the upper limit. NASA spacecrafts re-entering the Earth's atmosphere from space achieve such a high speed of Mach 24. The following example would give you a perspective of the hypersonic missile's speed. A commercial jet would take 4 hours and 20 minutes to cover 3000 kilometers from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. But a hypersonic missile traveling at Mach 8 would cover the same distance in just 30 minutes. A hypersonic missile launched from Bay of Bengal would take only 39 minutes to hit Beijing, located 3,913 kilometers. Hence, the power of hypersonic missile is overwhelming. Hypersonic missiles are deadlier than ballistic missiles. Because ballistic missiles take a ballistic trajectory for which the target is predictable and can be intercepted. But a hypersonic missile is highly maneuverable and hence its end target is not predictable. And since it does an uncertain path, it is difficult to be intercepted. Today there are two types of hypersonic missiles, one hypersonic cruise missiles and the second the hypersonic glide missiles. Hypersonic cruise missiles are self-propelled missiles and are launched from planes or from mobile launchers. They are moved towards their targets at speeds of Mach 9 and above and they are highly maneuverable and can hit their target accurately. These missiles use scramjet technology which works only above Mach 9. Until then, they use solid propellants to reach Mach 5 speeds. The hypersonic glide missiles, on the other hand, have no propulsion of their own, but are put on a rocket and launched into a suborbital spaceflight, after which the missile glides towards its target. It's also highly maneuverable and hence very difficult to be intercepted. Currently, three countries have this technology. They are the US, Russia and China. Russia has developed the 3M22 Zircon, it's a hypersonic anti-ship cruise missile using scramjet technology. This missile has a range of 1000 kilometers and travels at Mach 9 speed. China has DF-17. This is China's first fully operational hypersonic missile. The DF-17 is a glide missile and hence no propulsion on its own. It's mounted on top of DF IZF ballistic missile and launched in a suborbital flight path. After that, the missile is maneuvered to its target. This missile has a range of 1800 to 2500 kilometers and can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads. Coming back to aircraft carriers, Mach 3 is the maximum speed any ship's defense can handle. Hence, a hypersonic missile traveling at Mach 9 and above cannot be intercepted. India faces a real threat from Chinese hypersonic missiles like the DF-17, which China has already deployed in large numbers. Let us consider a hypothetical scenario of China attacking an Indian aircraft carrier. China launches five DF-17 missiles somewhere in the Indian Ocean at the Indian aircraft carrier located in Bay of Bengal. After taking to the upper atmosphere, the missile then glides towards its target at Mach 9 speed. The aircraft carrier would first fire its main defense missile, the Barak-8 surface-to-air missile. But this missile has a range of 150 kilometers and can handle supersonic missiles of speed up to Mach 3 only, and not about that. It would be useless against D-17. The close-in weapon systems would then fire the incoming barrage of D-17 and could succeed in hitting one of them, but four more would be on target and would hit and sink the aircraft carrier. This is good in theory. 
but in reality, the DF-17 needs to be guided to the moving target like an aircraft carrier. Maneuvering a hypersonic missile is very challenging. The target needs to be first located using a satellite and then homed in. But if the target is moving, then the target coordinates needs to be updated constantly. Meanwhile, an approaching missile with a radar homing can be confused by using chaff, which can overwhelm the radar of the approaching missile, hence would miss the target. As more and more countries try to acquire hypersonic missile technology, it remains to be seen what interesting possibility this new technology has to offer. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.